little pufflings. It's me, Heather, here at Goldstone Books. Do you have a favorite bird? My favorite bird is the Atlantic Puffin. Isn't he cute? I love the way his colorful beak makes him look a bit like a clown. When I was your age, I read a very funny poem called The Puffin, which was written by Florence Page Jacques. I thought it would be a great poem to make as an animated film. And so that's what I've done. Using paper and magazines, I have turned this silly poem into a stop motion film. I hope you'll enjoy it. Stay tuned at the end where you can hear more about puffins and where you can go in Wales to see them. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then let's begin. Oh, there once was a puffin, just the shape of a muffin, and he lived on an island in the bright blue sea. He ate little fishes that were most delicious, and he had them for supper, and he had them for tea. But this poor little puffin, he couldn't play nothing, for he hadn't anybody to play with at all. So he sat on his island and he cried for a while, and he felt very lonely, and he felt very small. Then along came the fishes, and they said, If you wishes, you can have us for playmates instead of for tea. So they now play together in all sorts of weather. And the puffin eats pancakes like you and like me. Skomer Island is an island off the coast of Pembrokeshire in West Wales and is the home to the largest puffin colony in southern Britain. Most people visit Skomer for the day, but there are facilities to stay overnight. Recently, I spent two nights on the island puffin watching, and it was amazing. Puffins live in burrows in the rocky ground and fly out to sea to catch their food. They don't eat pancakes like in the poem but they do love to eat fish. Once a year, puffins lay a single egg in their burrows and the chicks that hatch are called pufflings. Pufflings stay in their burrows and are fed by their parents until they are old enough to fly out on their own and catch their own fish. This year, Skomer Island had approximately 39,000 puffins on it. Can you imagine? I hope you have enjoyed learning about puffins. Thanks to Joe Ierson for the photos. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.